Hello, and welcome. I'm Xander, and here we are once again playing Resident Rise. And uh, I've just been refining some uh, oil into fuel here. I'm just going to leave this to do what it's doing. I should have enough now. I took it out of the portable tank and put it in here. Uh, this one now will start building up in here. No, I guess that thing's not quite full yet, which makes sense. But we've got 6,450 millibuckets, which should be plenty enough to get back. I have two location cards, two dialing devices, two portal controllers, and 32 portal frames. So we should have plenty enough to get going on that. So all I should need now... Uh, I've got conduit, I've got a fuel loader, I've got the cube. Uh, I wonder, can I just... No. That's disappointing. Wish I could put that in there, but... Uh, I think we are ready to venture off to the moon. So. Let's go for it. That oil is still burning over there. I haven't tried to do anything about it. I see you. We are taking off to the moon. A bit of a long-ish flight with this. But as you can see there on the left side, which is being slightly overlapped by my map. I suppose the map on the bottom right isn't really necessary, but I like it. Look, the Minecraft world is square, although that terrain does not seem to match my terrain. Of course I know that's because there's limitations, we're not even technically on the planet anymore. In fact, our exact height is... I can't see it. Oh, a thousand. Now, what I plan to do... Wow, that looks really funky. Uh, here we go. So, what I want to do is I want to screenshot this. I believe that's the screenshot key. And so next time we come back up, this is what I'm going to have to bring with me in order to create a space station. The moon says habitable, but there's no oxygen. That's weird. Why does it flash when I do that? And it has 18% gravity, whereas that has 100%, obviously. And... Oh. Okay. But uh, we're going to head to the moon. Give it a second to catch up. Uh, I don't believe old space to slow down. Uh, I don't want to slow down just yet. And not the whole way, because I don't want my descent to take too terribly long. Okay, I'm going to hold space. That is the slowest we can go. Holy crap, the planet is covered in things. Wee. Oh. Well. I've acquired some of the terrain surface. Planet surface. Moon surface. Uh. Crap. Can I... No. Well. That fuel is considered lost. Uh, I should make a waypoint here. Luckily, waypoints pause the game. S stop. Okay, we'll just throw myself up in space for a couple of seconds. Stop, skeleton. Oops. 
Stop. Okay, so. I'm going to make a very small room here. Building in low gravity is a pain. In case you weren't aware. Holy crap, zombie. You are durable. Okay, so. Now, torches do not work here, but I believe that my blood light should. Uh, perhaps not quite as well as I was hoping. And then I will hmm. I might make it one higher. Not that it matters too much, because I don't plan to uh, really keep this like this. Oh well heck that could stay up there. Leave those two spaces there. Dig out those bottom four. Portal controller. Dialing device. Are you kidding me? The, the other portals worked. I don't see why this one wouldn't work. I adjusted the size of it, and apparently it became very unhappy about that. Uh, location? Location set. Well, that's disappointing. That's extremely disappointing, because that means that getting back is going to be a pain. Ah, uh, crap. And my oxygen is going down faster than I'd like it to. So I guess the first thing I'm going to have to do is actually head back and then come back here. Well, that's, that's disappointing. As you can see, I got my launch pads back, but... Decided it was better to come here with it than to come here unprepared. Load conduit. Extract. Uh, rocket. No, oh, stop. Uh, well, I guess I can break this now. Creeper. Don't think I didn't see you. Oh. So. Sadly, one of the first things I'm going to have to do is head back, because... I'm going to run out of oxygen if I don't. Ugh. I'm disappointed in myself. I had no reason to upgrade the dimensional bridge. What did I do? I upgraded it. I'm regretting that right now. Now, I might end up slightly offset from where I originally took off from, but... 
That could have been very bad. But uh, now I know where that building's at. Because I put the impact point thing. This is going to take longer than I'd like it to. But I've already exhausted what looks to be, what, 20% of my oxygen? Something like that. I'm trying to be very careful not to press anything that could potentially eject me out of the rocket, because that would be a very, very bad time. Oh, I, I can't hear anything anymore. Got too high up. What I'm definitely going to do is, well... Resolve that issue for one. Uh, so my box is probably going to land just outside my base, probably on a tree. Not quite a tree. See, here's the only problem. I don't want the parrot chest. I don't like how it spontaneously generates things. Like the parrot chest and... There was actually a bug at one point with Galacticraft, but I believe this is 154, where it would duplicate your launch pads. Which was obviously not something that you'd want. Uh, location cards, 10. Can I... I'm not sure if I can resolve those at the moment, but three is more than enough. Eventually, I'll get the moon in there, which, guess what? We're going to spend time flying back to the moon. And I didn't bring the energy cube, so I don't have a good way to... fill this thing. Still got stuff in it, so there's at least that. Uh... Okay. Now... Uh, I do have a... I guess you could call it an emergency solution. Which is that I could get my digital miner. As you can see, I gathered some more diamonds. Grab the cell and place it there. Set this to an output. And I believe it only takes roughly a bucket's worth of fuel. I'm hoping that's all the more it takes. Eighty some odd percent full. Should be done now, I think. So I'll put that back in there. Pick that back up. Throw that in there where it belongs. Mm, I think that is good. I could make the space station, but I actually don't want to do that right at this moment. Okay. So. 
Everything should be good to go this time. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bing! Hmm. That's trippy. Suppose there's not really much to say. I'm just flying to the moon. Again. You know, this seems epic the first time, but every subsequent time it just seems like it's long and tedious. I'm not gonna lie. And I didn't refill my oxygen, but that shouldn't matter here pretty soon. Now, Mars didn't show up on the thing, but I think that's because you have to be flying in a Tier 2 rocket in order to actually get the moon to show up, and you have to do the, or the, to get Mars to show up, and you have to do the moon dungeon to get Tier 2 rockets. Go to the dimension, please. I am decreasing at an uncomfortably fast rate. Slow down. Ow. 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 Pain. Agony. And that's kind of what happens if you forget to slow down. Thankfully, my blood armor protected me from the, uh, what would have killed you, normally. Unfortunately, now my portal is very revealed. Hmm... This is a situation I had not intended to happen. And jump. So, now, once I get these last few things in place, I should be able to apply a location card. Oh, needs a unique identifier. Uh, we will do emerald and nether star. Now uh, we want to set emerald diamond. This will be overworld, except the portal color will be blue. Uh, and the particles are going to be red because I said so, or not red, but black because I said so. And let's see, what was the nether? The nether is what? Green and slime? And whoops. We want its portal to be red. Save, okay. Ah. Twilight Forest. Portal is purple. Save. So now I can dial home. I do believe the impact caused me to lose my rocket, unfortunately. So stupid move on that one. But I made the extra launch pads at least, and making another rocket won't be an issue. It's just time-consuming. But now, I can add moon. I suppose the moon can be black. There you go. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to refill my oxygen tanks. Oh, that is not where one refills an oxygen tank. This shouldn't take too long. 
But once I get my oxygen tank filled, which I could make another compressor and put it above it and move everything over one and but eh, it's not really something I feel like doing at the moment. What I am going to do is we're gonna go find a dungeon. We're going to complete said dungeon and then we'll you know, with complete disregard for length, after doing all of that, despite flying to the moon twice and blowing up my rocket, because I was impatient and wanted to get to the ground faster, then we will call it quits after that, once we get safely back to the planet. Now, the moon shouldn't have any issues with generating terrain because underground biomes won't be there, chocolate quest won't be there, there's pretty much no ore generation. Or, no, like, affected ore generation. It has, it's one thing that does it and it doesn't generate a whole lot. It generates, like, four or five different blocks, something like that, and then, like, dungeons randomly. So it's actually less complex than vanilla Minecraft when you think about it. So, what we can do now is we can venture off to our little world there. Get rid of those. I did leave, right? Yeah, okay. Good. Uh, oh. 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 Well, this is still here. That's all that's important. But, seriously. Oh. Uh, I'm going to turn that off because I don't want anything escaping into the other dimension. So, to find dungeons... What you want to look for is massive craters. Like, that's where we landed. The uh, map writer's been really funky. Like, for some reason, it hasn't been updating quite right. Which I don't understand. But, what are you going to do? That looks like uh, the Mine Factory Reloaded stuff. I don't know why that's there. Now here's a village. It's got saplings, and it's made out of tin decoration blocks. So I'll likely harvest that, so I don't have to make my own. I think that's when I'm going to build the uh, space station out of. Especially considering I can use the moon to acquire the blocks to do that. How have I not found a dungeon yet? I'm not gonna lie, this is extremely disappointing. Okay, biomes are plenty. I saw that flower. I understand. Surely I should have found one by now. You're wasting my time, game. And everybody else's. Seriously, this is ridiculous. Uh, 
I should have found a dungeon by now. Well, might as well go check this bit over here. Don't want to leave anything unchecked. I don't think I showed you guys. Check that out. 8.4 million. Okay, this is ridiculous. Where's the dungeons? I might have to spend a lot of time that I didn't want to actually finding a dungeon. So that's three villages I've found so far, so that is a lot of... Okay. There's three villages right here. I'm employing my Mistcraft Age tactics for finding things. Go in a straight line. You're bound to find them eventually. Seriously, I should have found something by now. I don't understand. I'm not going to lie, this is actually starting to get kind of annoying. It's pretty obvious when you find one because it creates a massive, massive hole. I don't know. Uh, I suppose I'm going to keep looking and uh, I'll be back when I find one or if after like half an hour of looking or something I don't find one I, I'll come back and tell you I can find one. So I'll be back with you shortly. Okay. So here we are back again. Found one. This is what it looks like on the map. It's pretty obvious, and our landing point was here. So, I had to go quite a ways to find it. Now, as you can see, there's plenty of spawners in here, and I don't... Uh, yeah, I think that lights it up. Yeah, it works. Good. You didn't kill the spawner. So this right here is what happens if a you try and place a normal torch on the moon. It just gets that whole burnout thing because, guess what? Fire needs oxygen. And guess what there isn't on the moon? Oxygen. I keep on trying to block with the thing, even though I don't need to block either. Oh, hey, cat. Staff of Traveling. Mm -hmm. The Radio CC. I'm not sure. That's for the the radio for open blocks, but it's an internet radio station. It's not like somebody's created music. Ooh, interesting. So I can't really use that. Like, I can't play it on YouTube because of... Uh, digital copyrights, of course. So, this here is the boss room. And that over there should be the loot room. <coughs> and he's dead. He tries to throw you into the lava, but you can press shift when he picks you up to dismount.
so we got ourselves a tier one dungeon key. That goes in the treasure chest. This is a tier one dungeon chest. And we found the moon buggy schematic, a bunch of ender lilies. You know, I don't really need those. Another cat, yutter wrench. Take the thomium. And I might as well take the nether wart. So, yeah, that that's pretty much that. Unfortunately, you can't really pick these up. There's a way to acquire them that you're not really supposed to. Oh, hey, killing those actually gets you the uh, things as well. The uh, yellow hearts. So, that's pretty much one of these. So, we're just going to quickly get out of here. If I want, I can come in here for spawners at some point. And then we're going to go back to the surface of the overworld. Stupid cobwebs. Go away. Uh, which direction is that? This way. So I'll have to find more of those in order to try and get the Tier 2 schematic. But as it currently stands, I think I'm okay with what I have at the moment. And fortunately, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait. Because I'm going to have to make a Tier 2 rocket eventually anyhow. Uh, we'll just take a quick look at that because it should show us even though we can't physically make it. The tier 2 rocket here. From Galactic Rat Mars. It's going to need compressed meteoric iron and we would have had to make a whole new rocket anyhow. So I'm just going to wait and I'm going to make that rocket. What I do need to do is check on my AE network because I might have to add more space to it, but I'll do that. I'm going to call this good for now. Uh, we're at about 27, 28 minutes, and if the, the video looked a little bit out of skew of the previous part, that's because I went into windowed mode and I forgot to change back. So I'm not sure how that's going to end up looking. But, uh, we still got plenty of space. That one was fluid. That's why there's nothing in it. So, I'm going to call this good. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.